Hello! In this brief video, we are presenting some more tips to help you in your use of PASS. The PDF documentation that comes with the PASS software includes information about the individual PASS procedures, as well as each of the common PASS windows. To view the documentation about the output or home windows, you can either click on the small question mark button at the top right corner of the window or you can go to the help menu and select how to use this window. To load the documentation for procedure windows in general, open any procedure, go to the help menu, select more help topics, and then select how to use this window. To view the documentation for a specific procedure, first open the desired procedure, then click on the question mark at the top right or select the first item from the help menu. Most procedure documentation chapters have an introduction. A technical detail section. A procedure option section. Examples. and one or more validation examples. Nearly every procedure in PASS has a corresponding example that shows how PASS matches published results. A description of the validation example is given in the documentation for each procedure. For access to the validation documentation of the procedure, you can click the Validation Examples button in the Help Center. If you wish to run the validation example, the validation example options may be specified one at a time in the procedure, or they may be opened collectively using an example template. To open the settings collectively, click on Open Example Template in the Help Center and select the desired validation example. Clicking OK loads the template settings. The procedure can then be run to see that the results of PASS match those of the published findings. To edit the attributes of a sample size plot, go to the Plots tab on the Procedure window and click on the Large Plot Setup button. These plot specifications will be realized when the procedure is run. If you wish to make adjustments to the plot with the actual data of the procedure run, check the Live Edit checkbox next to the Plot Setup button. When the procedure is run, the Plot Format window will open with the data of the run and you'll have the option to edit the attributes of the plot before the final plot is produced. When the run completes, the newly specified plot options will remain along with the other procedure settings. The saving and opening of procedure templates is discussed elsewhere. If you wish to automatically save the settings of a procedure every time the procedure is run, you can use the autosave feature. To turn on autosave, go to the file menu of any path procedure and select Autosave Procedure Settings. From this point forward, unless autosaved is turned off again, the procedure setting from every procedure run from every procedure will be saved as a template. To open an autosave template, 
you can go to the File menu and select Recent. You can also go to File and select Open Template. Or you can go to File, then Options, and select the Folders tab on the System Options window that appears. From there, you can view, open, and change the auto-save folder. 